Ghana is taking a bold leap into the future, signaling a remarkable shift in the nation's energy and transportation strategy, one that could redefine how Ghanaians move, live, and breathe. In what many are calling a visionary move, Ghana's Minister for Energy and Green Transition, John Abdoulaye Jinapur, recently announced a groundbreaking initiative that seeks to convert a significant number of traditional fuel stations into electric vehicle charging hubs. The announcement, made during a high-profile energy policy forum on March 19, 2025, has sent ripples through the corridors of power, the streets of Accra, and across social media platforms. And rightly so. This initiative is not just about electric cars. It's about ushering in a new era of clean energy, environmental responsibility, and national preparedness for the technological revolutions shaping the world. Before we dive deeper into today's update, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support is key to helping us grow and reach more viewers like you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exciting updates. The minister stood before an audience of policymakers, industry leaders, and environmental advocates, and didn't mince words. Ghana, he said, must begin preparing for the inevitable shift toward electric vehicles. That statement wasn't just a call to action. It was a declaration of intent, an affirmation that Ghana is no longer content to watch from the sidelines as the rest of the world races toward sustainability. The move to repurpose existing fuel stations, those familiar landmarks scattered across the country, into EV charging hubs is not only practical but deeply strategic. These stations already occupy key positions along major roads and in urban centers, making them ideal for quick retrofitting and widespread accessibility. In the near future, where once stood the scent of petrol and the hum of diesel engines, Ghanaians might find the silent charge of clean electricity fueling the next generation of transport. But this isn't just about swapping fuel pumps for chargers. What truly elevates the excitement is the promise of ultra-fast charging technology. According to Jinapur, modern EV chargers are no longer the slow, time-consuming systems of the past. Thanks to technological advancements, Vehicles can now be fully charged in as little as five to 10 minutes. Think about that. Barely enough time to grab a bottle of water or check a message, and your vehicle is ready to go. And with Ghana set to partner with Chinese electric vehicle giant BYD, the stakes have risen dramatically. BYD is bringing in cutting edge systems capable of fully charging a vehicle in just five minutes. That's faster than a typical stop at a regular fuel station today. It's a massive game changer, one that eliminates the biggest fear people usually have about EVs, long charging times. Now let's zoom out for a moment. Why now? Why is Ghana making this move at this particular time? The answer lies in the winds of global change. Around the world, nations are racing to decarbonize their economies, meet climate commitments, and prepare for a world that can no longer afford to run on fossil fuels. In the heart of this global shift sits the transportation sector, one of the biggest contributors to carbon emissions. Ghana, with its growing cities, increasing vehicle numbers, and dependence on fuel imports, stands at a crucial crossroad. This transformation offers a rare opportunity to strike multiple targets at once, reduce harmful emissions, cut the national fuel import bill, and position Ghana as a regional leader in clean energy innovation. It's an opportunity that comes with both urgency and promise. And Ghana is not alone in this vision. Across Africa, countries like Kenya and South Africa have already begun their journeys into the world of electric vehicles. Charging stations are popping up in Nairobi, and EV buses are making their rounds in Cape Town. The message is clear. Africa is not waiting for handouts. It's innovating, adapting, and evolving. Ghana's decision to join this wave now means it won't be left behind. In fact, with the strategic approach announced, the country might just leap ahead, leading the way for, for its West African neighbors. Of course, big dreams come with big challenges, and this transition is no different. Turning fuel stations into EV charging hubs will require major investment. It's not just about installing chargers, it's about reinforcing the power grid to handle the load, training personnel to maintain and manage new systems, and building public trust in the reliability and affordability of electric mobility. Ghana's current electricity grid, powered by a mix of thermal and hydro sources, will need significant upgrades to keep pace with increased demand. 
Imagine hundreds of cars charging simultaneously across major cities. Without the right grid infrastructure, this could lead to blackouts or system overloads. It's a delicate balance that must be managed carefully. Affordability remains a significant hurdle. The majority of Ghanaians currently rely on secondhand petrol and diesel vehicles simply because they're more economical up front. Electric vehicles, although offering long-term savings and lower maintenance expenses, still carry a steep initial cost. Without government incentives like tax exemptions, subsidies, or low-interest loans, it might prove difficult to persuade the average person to make the switch. But within this challenge lies a major opportunity. If the government introduces supportive measures or even facilitates local assembly of EVs or their parts, the transition could become more feasible for the wider public. Still, we shouldn't allow the obstacles to overshadow the possibilities, because what lies ahead is bursting with promise. The partnership with BYD is not just about bringing in technology. It's a gateway to job creation across various sectors, from assembly and servicing to infrastructure expansion. Picture a generation of young Ghanaians learning how to install and maintain EV chargers, or even assembling electric vehicles right here on home soil. Envision small businesses sprouting up around these new hubs, coffee shops, convenience stores, mobile service booths, all thriving off this new energy economy. This isn't just about cleaner energy, it's a potential economic game changer. Environmental advocates have already applauded the move as a defining moment. Air quality in urban centers like Accra and Kumasi has been deteriorating, raising health concerns. With EVs producing zero tailpipe emissions, urban air could see drastic improvement, reducing respiratory illnesses and boosting overall health. By cutting back on fossil fuel reliance, Ghana also inches closer to fulfilling its Paris Climate Accord pledges. This is more than symbolism. It's a bold, practical stride toward a cleaner and healthier nation. So far, the public response has been largely positive, though with some caution. On platforms like X, many users have called the initiative progressive and timely. Some are already asking when the first EV charging points will be ready. Others seek clarity on how the project will be funded and whether ordinary citizens will truly benefit. These inquiries, though valid, signify something powerful. People are watching. They care. They want in. And that kind of engagement is a powerful engine for progress. What comes next will be the true test. Execution is where great ideas either soar or stall. It will take transparency, regular updates, and strong collaboration with the private sector to move forward successfully. The government must prove its commitment, communicate effectively, and make sure no one is left behind. Everyone has a role to play, local communities, investors, youth, and entrepreneurs alike. This isn't solely about legislation, it's about national transformation. Ghana now stands on the brink of a new era, an era where cleaner air, quieter cities, and an economy powered by innovation rather than imported fuel can become reality. By converting traditional fuel stations into EV charging hubs, Ghana isn't just catching up to global trends, it's making a bold declaration. A declaration of readiness. Readiness for change, readiness to lead, and readiness for the future. As those first charging stations come online and the first wave of electric cars cruises through our roads, a new chapter will begin. One no longer written in exhaust fumes and rising fuel bills, but in progress, sustainability, and renewed hope. As Minister Jinnapur aptly said, this is not merely about adapting, it's about preparing. The journey has started, and there's no telling how far Ghana can go. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.